Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving my review for For the Sake of Vicious. This is from the Dread Presents line, or the Dread line, Epic Pictures. Um, I own a few of theirs. Um, Terrifier is one of theirs. Uh, I know my, me and my wife both love Terrifier. Love it! Um, what else is theirs? Uh, Sleigh Bells, Book of Monsters just a couple more I own. I own a few more, but Circus of the Dead, I think, is one of them that I own. I have them upstairs all together on the shelves. They are numbered on the sides, um, but I'm not the type that has to have everyone in, this, in the set just because they're numbered. I know some people are with their OCD. Surprisingly, I do have some OCD, but that isn't something that bothers me. It used to, though. Used to. Yes, used to. But I've gotten better. Gotten better at it. But, Let's talk about For the Sake of Vicious. I enjoyed this one a lot. Um, so basically, this guy, he kidnaps a person that he claims assaulted his daughter. I think it was, it was a daughter. I think it was a daughter. And For the Sake of Vicious. And he... Uh takes him to a, the nurse's house that worked on his daughter when she got to the hospital to get him to confess. And um, turns out the guy that he's accusing is actually the main character's landlord. And something happened, or there he ends up calling, and uh, I guess the peop the guy he works for ends up sending guys to I guess attack the dad and get him out of that situation because he can't get out of it himself is the is what I was getting from it anyways. Um, and when the guys, when these people break in, <laughs> there's more than just the three, but when they break in, it's a bloodbath with the gore. I mean, it is really great effects, really good gore throughout the entire movie. Um, you know, there's only one left standing, I'll just say that. I think it's probably going to be obvious who's left standing <laughs> just by looking at the back of the picture there. But, um, but it, it was just a lot of fun. It's very quick, 80 minute with end credit watch. I gave this a 4 out of 5. I thought the acting was better than I expected. Um, and the storyline was just a lot better. It kept me interested. It kept me guessing. Did he do it? Did he not do it? I sort of guessed he didn't, uh, but he did try to give give his character vibes that he did, which I thought I liked. I'm glad, glad he was trying to give off those vibes that he sort of did. But um, you find out who act, who did it in the end, basically, too, before everybody's <laughs> gets their uh, their little death. <laughs> but yeah it was just a very fun film really enjoyed it gave it a 4 out of 5 if I ain't mistaken if I remember correctly on my litter box um, definitely something I, I will rewatch. it is a Halloween movie take, sort of Halloween movie it takes place on Halloween um, uh, that's the one thing like they don't they do okay with setting up the Halloween theming uh, they do show some decorations. They have her, which the one part that sort of got me is they have her answer, which if by now you I might as well just say, she's the only one left standing alive. Everybody else gets killed. And they have her answer the door to a trick-or-treater covered in blood and holding her wound that she has. And she gives the kid candy, but yet, and like... 
the the parents don't freak out or nothing seeing somebody covered in. I guess they must think it's a Halloween costume. I'm what I'm guessing. That's what I'm going for. They just thought she was dressed up in a Halloween costume, when really she wasn't. But uh, but yeah, highly recommend this one. This was really a lot of fun. Um, there's still a few of them that I own that I need to watch that I will watch probably this year around Halloween time. Not that I have to wait till Halloween time, but I could I watch them before. I'm not that kind of a person that waits till Halloween to watch a horror movie, but... Never have uh, been. <laughs> yeah, never have been, so... I could watch them sooner, which I might, because they're, they're usually short movies. The the Dread epic picture movies are usually short, so... But, yeah. Recommend it. Four out of five. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything for our review, for, for my review, for For the Sake of Vicious. So, please, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified for our videos, and we'll see you on the next one.